You know, some people say count your blessings. I say write them down. Karlowski, the super bright teacher, that is my name. And every time you watch these videos, you are sending a message to Google, YouTube, and the world that it is gonna get better today. That every day we need to spark bravery and make it better today for our LGBTQ plus teachers and students. So thank you. You know, friends, I pride myself on being a learner. I'm a great teacher, but I'm an even better learner. But I also lately have been just sitting back and giving myself a pat on the back and saying, you know what, Joel? You're already doing some pretty awesome things and you don't need to always be rushing off to the next thing, to the next accomplishment, to the next whatever. You are already doing great things now. And one of the things that I'm most proud of doing is that for the past eight years, and before that and I was always blogging, so that for the past eight years, every single day, every single day of my life, I sit down and I reflect and I write the blessings of the day and I call it the blessing book. And I've had blessing books, like I said, for the past eight years. And it is so fun. I'll show you like a little thing. Like it is so fun to take every day and write everything that happens in the day because it just sparks all of these memories and all these great things. So my blessing books have evolved over the years, but it's really simple now. I use an ink and volt planner. So instead of planning, I actually use it for my reflecting. And I love these ink and volt planners because they give you reflection questions for the week, which I do. I set my goals for the week. I'm always reflecting and celebrating. I review my year goals, my monthly goals, all that stuff. And something that I've always done with my husband is I always ask him, how can I love you this week? And how can, um, how can you love me this week? And we always hold each other accountable to that, which I really like. I always keep my little checks up here to see if I did my mindfulness for the day. I track how I'm sleeping, if I'm working out, what changes might be in my diet, all that stuff. And I just track what the morning looks like in the afternoon and all this stuff. Cause I'm one of these people who I have a really short working memory, but if you give me like a little clue, then I can remember everything. So I really like, if you read this, you might not be able to get everything that I'm saying, but, um, it sparks all these memories in me, which I really like. And yeah, it's it's been fun because like you could literally say, Joel, what happened three years ago on this day? And I could tell you exactly what I was thinking, feeling, seeing, tasting, trying. And it's it's been really wonderful. And it's been fun to just see like how like I progressed and how much is also the same, like my goals for the week slow down, stillness, um, enjoy these last weeks with the students. Um, it's just fun to see that, it's fun to see that so much has changed and so much hasn't changed. And I love, love, love keeping these blessing books. We have a safe in our home for important documents and I, and I keep these blessing books in the safe. It's one of those things for me that if we had a fire, I'd be getting the blessing books. I love these blessing books. And it has really benefited someone like me who just needs to take it from here to here. And it just alleviates everything for me. So take the idea, leave the idea, but it's something that is such a habit for me. And it's something I crave and need every day. And it's, it's really blessed me. So adding on to my gratitude practice and adding on to my affirmations and adding on to my prayers and adding on to the other things that I do that are so important to me, blessing book, blessing book. I cannot recommend it enough. So what do you think? What are your practices of remembering your blessings, remembering your gratitudes, remembering all these things? Do you keep journals? What do you do? What What are things that work for you? Is this crazy to you? Am I, am I really that old that I'm writing everything down? Should I be doing this in like digital form? I'll tell you, digital form does not work for this guy. But what works for you? Are you willing to start a blessing book? Let me know, keep me posted. Thank you, friends. I just wanna let you know that many, many, many times in these blessing books, I'm talking about this channel and how much it means to me to start having a deeper impact for other people in my life. 
besides the people I see every day, besides the people I try to do my best to impact every day. So thank you for being a blessing for me. You are a blessing. You are important. You are loved. You are enough just for being you. And Joel, you're a blessing. Thanks for being you.